political versus systemic. Uh, the World Affairs Council of Oregon brought Bernard Lietaire last month, and he talks about complementary currencies and the way healthy ecosystems need to balance efficiency with resilience, and the two components of resilience are diversity and interconnectivity. And so he's written a couple of books, the most recent, Rethinking Money, that goes into example after example of successful transformations of communities through the use of a variety of different kinds of complementary currencies at different levels, including local government levels. And I was wondering if you could talk about how you feel that plays into finding solutions and, according to him, just looking for solutions with the mono-currency mono system, particularly one that creates money through creating debt, is totally unsustainable systemically, not only politically. Our, having, having highly centralized currencies is very damaging to the economy. So if you want to, if you want to know what happened to the European Union, they, they did the euro and it's destroying the economy. And if you read Sir James Goldsmith's books, he describes exactly, you know, he predicts exactly what's going to happen. One of the best things we could all do is have complementary currencies in our communities. I mean, it makes tremendous sense to have both global and local currencies. The challenge is that every time the complementary currency gets going, the powers that be do everything, they kind of stop it and, and sabotage it. And so if you're a group trying to do a complementary currency, one of the reasons I encourage people to use gold and silver is it's already existed. You don't need any kind of organization you can do it by the just do it method. Um, it would be wonderful if we could have complementary currencies, but they're in competition with the central bank who goes way out of their way. Um, to stop them. I had a company, the reason I litigated with the federal government, I had a company that uh, was building software to a called Community Wizard that would let you see how the sources and uses of money in your place. That software tool got seized by the Department of Justice, put under lock and key for six years. By the time I finally got it out after spending six million dollars on legal fees, the most important parts of it were gone. That's the kind of competition you run into. So, um, so I agree complimentary currencies are fantastic.